Hmm, what's this? Welcome to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I get to finally, officially, start up my coverage of Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. We are out of the open beta, we are into the game proper, and it does release on March 7th, 2017. So you guys can grab it then, there, and play it for all of eternity. Or until you beat it and move on to something else. Or if you want to keep playing it after you beat it, you can totally do that too. I don't know, guys and gals. I didn't do so amazingly awesome when I played the open beta. It might carry over to this, but we're going to have fun with it either way. So hopefully you guys get to enjoy this a little bit earlier than, uh, well, the game actually releases. And then you guys can go and play it. Who knows? Maybe folks will join me down the road. I don't know. But I'm going to have fun with it one way or the other. And I hope you guys do as well. So that being said, I'm not sure... I may do some cutting and some editing to uh, reduce some of the load times, just so you guys just get right into the action and get to enjoy it. So I'm going to be right back. I am not a liar. I have killed thousands. I have fed more drug fiends than the top three pharmaceutical companies combined. I have stolen children from parents, wives from husbands, wiped out entire generations. But lying, that I have never done. The rest are offenses against humanity. Lying is an offense against yourself. I am the head of the Santa Blanca organization which you call a cartel. I had a dream. I dreamed of a land where we could grow our own coca, produce our own cocaine, where we could run our business free from interference from the police, the government, the army, the Yankees. In my dream, a woman's voice asked me, Sueño, mijo. What if you had your own country? Like Moses, I led my people to the promised land, Olivia. We came here. We bought the coca fields. What we couldn't buy, we took. We bought the police, the military, the judges, the politicians. We were on the verge of becoming the government itself, on the razor's edge from fulfilling my dream. of creating a narco-state. The nation of Santa Blanca. Last week, a crude explosive detonated outside the U.S. Embassy in La Paz, Bolivia. Two Marine Embassy guards were injured in the blast. Two days later, a CIA asset in central Bolivia provided us with these images. Our analysts have identified the individual in the photo as DEA Special Agent Ricardo Ricky Sandoval, my friend. Sandoval has had spent the last six years investigating the local cocaine industry. Our understanding is that Sandoval was the intended target of the bombing. What the embassy bomb did not accomplish was completed up close and personal. Sandoval was captured, tortured, and killed. Then his body was dumped. We have yet to recover it. Our target, the group responsible for the embassy bombing and the death of Special Agent Sandoval, is the drug trafficking organization commonly known as the Santa Blanca Cartel. Yesterday, they were just narcos. Today, they're narco-terrorists. Initially, the Bolivian government resisted the Mexican cartel. They formed UNIDAD, a Bolivian special forces unit. It didn't go as planned. Thousands of bodies later, politicians, police officers, and journalists have become an endangered species. The Bolivian government has imploded on itself. With no other options, the new president made a deal with Santa Blanca. You stop killing our people, we'll look the other way. 
Since then, Santa Blanca has turned Bolivia into the nexus of the South American drug trade. With their friends in Mexico, they also have a clear pipeline to the US and Canada. The only way to stop Santa Blanca for good is to completely dismantle them, piece by piece. The cartel is organized into four operations. Production, smuggling, security, and influence. At the top of it all is El Jefe de los Jefes, boss of bosses, El Sueño. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to throw the opening video sequences in there as well between that and the loading screen here. It actually took a very long time to load. I'm hoping it's only the first character creation and like the world building that takes a real long time. But yeah, it was it was a good five minutes or something like that. Pretty crazy, pretty crazy. Anyway, we're here. Uh, anyone who watched the open beta coverage that I did, which was laughable at best, I know, I know. I'm hoping that I do a little bit better this time around. Anyhow, anyone who watched that, this is all going to look very familiar, and you'll have seen most of this stuff, if not all of it, before. But we're going to give it a shot again. And again, we're we're doing a full coverage here, so we still have to cover the first part of the game, even if I did it in the open beta. There could be subtle changes and differences, so that's where we're at. Anyway, let's try to get through this as quickly as possible. Mail. We have a head. We have the face of Murphy. I'm fine with the... Who did I go with last time? Did I go with... with no. Let's just go with Murphy. He's fine. He's fine. How do I... Oh, I hit escape to go back. All right. Eye color is not going to be light brown. It's going to be green because of course it is. Lumberjack's a bit too much. Business beard. Yeah, it's fine. It looks a little funky, but eh, I can live with it. Squared away head. Hair, huh? Shaved. Uh, ponytail. What is a ponytail? Can we, can, oh, we can rotate with a with right click. Ponytail. Eh. Corn rose, we can go with the mohawk. We're gonna go with the ponytail, because why not? It's so small. It's such a small ponytail. It's okay. Uh yeah, facial detail and um, what is it? you got glasses or something? A saber scar. Yeah, no, we, we we've seen some stuff, but we're not like dunzo. We're not like completely messed up and just bleh. So we're good to go here. Alright, appearance, uh, body details. Facial paint, no thank you. Uh, yeah, we don't need to be tatted up. We're cool enough with what we've got. Alright, all sorts of different stuff. So we're going to go with a tank top. Because of course we are. Whoa, what's all this stuff down here? Oh really? Huh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool. Let's go with the black tank top. Why not? All right. Let's get out of that. Let's go here with the vests. We're going to go with the harness, I guess. Now let's go with none this time around. I think that's going to look better. All right. Let's see what kind of pantalones we have. We have some cargo pants. We got some jeans. Let's just go with jeans. We're just going to look like we just like rolled out. We're like, yep, we're here. What's going on? We can have combat boots, we can have hiking boots, we can have work boots, or hiking shoes. Let's go with the shoes. I'm not a big fan of boots. Alright, that's fine. Uh, let's see, accessories. Uh, eyewear. Uh, yeah, let's just go with that. It's fine. Uh, we have this thing, huh? Oh my. There's some interesting looking thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Inter you know what? The skull bandana looks pretty cool. But no. All right. I think we're just gonna we're gonna roll out with nothing. We have none equipped. Why? Because we can. All right. Headgear. 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 Really wish they had a fedora for me. That would make me super happy. But they're like, nah, why would we have a fedora for Bumpy? We don't like Bumpy that much. We don't love Bumpy. Or do we? Probably not. All right, we're going to go with the beanie, I think. Yeah, we'll go with the beanie. Or the watch cap. What, is, what does that mean? It's literally a beanie. That's uh, whatever. All right, we can have different headsets. We can have an earpiece. I like that. Less clutter. Uh, earpiece, hand, yeah, that's fine. Uh, backpack. 
that just seems silly. The Y strap. Yeah, you know what? Let's go with that. That's fine. And then we can have patches. Where does the patch show up? Oh, it's on our thing. Sure. Let's go with beasts. Yeah. All right. So we're done with that. Special outfits. Ooh. Oh, we could be a ninja with an eye patch. That's pretty crazy. Okay. I don't. I don't hate this stuff. Eh. I'm just gonna roll with what we've got. All right. Random outfit. Nope. We're good. Costumes. There's costume. Rebel leader. Oh, that's that's dying earth, huh? Cool. Now we're gonna go with none. We're gonna go with what we had before. Thank you very much. All right, and I think we're about done. Let's save our character. Yep, I want to save it. And all right, we have difficulty settings here. The easiest mode for laid back experience enemies take more time to detect and shoot the ghosts. A normal mode for most players. Enemies can compete with elite soldiers. Okay. Uh, advanced strategic mode for advanced players. Enemies are more precise and deadly and extreme. Simulation mode. Real, a realistic scenario for remarkably uh, tactical players. Enemies are extremely lethal, aware, and skilled. We're going to go with regular because I'm a scared little girl. But it's going to be okay. Anyway, guys and gals, I will probably do another cut here. And we will come back once the game is live. The agent they murdered. You knew him? He was a friend of mine. Sorry for your loss. I could say it comes with a job, but it doesn't get any easier. No, it doesn't. Guess you've been down here a while? I've been living as Karen Bowman, international aid worker, for just about five years. Means living rough, but as a cover, it gets me out and about. At least it comes with a chopper. How'd you get in country? A fluent business class from Manaus. Hey, I'm refreshed and ready for work, right? I just hitched rides from Barranco, Peru. How about you? I got on board a bus in Hui, Argentina, and drank all the way to Via Zone. Nobody wants to deal with a drunk on the bus. That explains why you smell like ass. I've heard rumors about you guys. I was a rookie field officer in Moscow when the coup went down. There was talk you were involved? Nah, it must have been someone else. We were never there. It's not every day you get to meet an urban legend in the flesh. Huh, you should tell that to my kid. Maybe he'd listen when I tell him to take the trash out. Is it hard being someone who doesn't officially exist? You tell me, Karen Bowman. International aid worker. I'm sure you've seen the horrible, fucked up shit humans are capable of when there are zero repercussions. But let me tell you right now. No matter how you compartmentalize, how you desensitize, you can't prepare for El Sueño. He's got a religious streak that rates pretty close to delusional. He's taken vows of poverty, chastity. If he's not in it for the chocha or the money, he's in it for the power. This joint task force is CIA, DEA, and JSOC. I'm your resident spook for this ride. Welcome to Operation Kingslayer. Our briefing said there'd be a contingent of locals. The Qatar is 26. They're a group of rebels who've been giving Unidad and Santa Blanca some resistance. We'll meet their leader, Pak Atari, as soon as we touch down. Bolivians have a long history of hating us Yankees, but this time, let's hope the enemy of my enemy will be my friend. But don't turn your back on him. I'm not going to.
Four soldiers. This is the help you promised? That Sandoval promised? A single Yankee died. So you send a handful of soldiers. Hundreds of Bolivians have died from Santa Blanca's bullets. Where will my hundreds of soldiers come from? As Americans, we aren't here, remember? These soldiers are the best covert ops team our country has to offer. With their help, you won't need hundreds of soldiers. Are you familiar with the word Huber, Senora Bowman? Meet Pakatari, leader of the resistance group Kataris 26. We will be working with the rebels to destabilize Santa Blanca's organization. They've been fighting Santa Blanca and corrupt Bolivian officials for nearly six years now. We'll need to coordinate targets. There is no time for this. We have information on Amaru's whereabouts. Amaru? You found him? Amaru is one of the founders of the Kataras 26. More than that, her group is founded on his ideas. Without his theories of an agrarian proletariat, there would be no organized resistance against Santa Blanca and the corruption in our government. Amaru must be saved. If you were to assist my people, it would do much to earn my confidence. Where is he? We do not know exactly. We know he's in this province and that there is a Santa Blanca lieutenant who knows where he is. I'll put a call into the activity, see if they can dig more intel out of the airwaves. Start looking for that lieutenant and keep me informed of everything via sat phone. Good hunting. Saving Amado is important to our cause, Yankee. Make sure you don't kill the Santa Blanca lieutenant before you get the chance to ask him questions. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and that is the story so far. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I know I just did this with the open beta. Just You're going to have to put up with it for a couple of episodes, and then we'll be into new territory, new lands, and you should be able to enjoy it all immensely. That's my hope anyway. And, well, let's begin anew, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Again, maybe one... That is great. Maybe at some point pay people. down the road. Your game faces. I tell you, I'm not too comfortable working with Pakatari and these rebels. Their kind of ideology always ends up with more bodies in the ground. What's your feeling on this op, Nomad? End of the day, this is a revenge mission. All right, we'll talk about the revenge mission in a minute. Anyway, uh, there is a very possible reality that down the road I may, I very well may, be getting uh, somebody else to come join me along the lines. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not 100% positive that it'll happen, but it's a possibility. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do away with the submachine gun, and I think uh, last time I had a sniper rifle, and I would kind of like that again, but we don't have it available right now. I'm gonna go with the uh, the wilderness here, the uh, shotgun. We'll give that a shot for the first time. Uh, the assault rifle or the AK-47 uprising? I'm not sure. The AK-47 does have a lot more damage, uh, but doesn't have the noise reduction. Also, it probably doesn't have a silencer that you can attach, so maybe I won't use it this time around. Alright, and we have a whole bunch of other stuff. Most of them are locked, but yeah, let's just roll out with what we've got here. We need to focus and get this done quick before we get stuck between local politics and the firestorm of cartel bullets. First objective, track down that Santa oh, that's Blanca weird so aim. find Amaru. That's weird. Aiming this thing is strange. I feel like we're holding the gun like like this, and we're just like, uh, I don't know. Maybe we're not. It just feels a little bit weird. Let's give me a minute to get my uh, bearings here. And is it F to put on the silencer and take it off? No, it's not F. Well, we'll figure it out as we go. Anyway, I think we should take this totally, totally, uh, totally blended inable, non conspicuous. Uh, vehicle come on guys let's come on roll. guys let's go let's go let's go get in all right i don't think my driving skills have improved at all since the last time we played but we're gonna hope that it's maybe slightly better than it was because it was pretty abysmal before now granted i do have a controller setup i could potentially use that to drive with and it would probably go a little bit better than me using my keyboard and mouse for driving but at the same time, all the shooting would be absolutely horrible. And, well, we're just going to have to put up with my bad driving. So hopefully you guys are on board with that and you're okay with it because it's going to happen. Oh, boy. I did, I did the thing that I do every once in a while. I start to lose control a little bit and then I oversteer like 100 million times in a row. And then it just turns real bad real quick. We're going to try to at least make it to our destination, maybe take out the targets there. And then we'll break off this first episode and we'll continue on down the road. I know a few folks who have this game, so like I said, there could be either, this could turn into a full co-op thing, it could just stay as a single player one. 
I find it's weird when I do uh, co-op games. Uh, it changes the whole tone and the way the the Let's Play goes. Um, sometimes it's for the better. Sometimes I feel it detracts from the game a little bit because uh, with all the interactions, it's more like you guys are along for the ride as like a you're watching. I, I suppose you're always kind of a bird's eye view, but I, I address the audience, I address you guys a lot less, and I say things uh, less about the game and such. And it's more of having like a conversation with uh, friends. And I suppose that's true and accurate, but it's just, like I said, it changes the whole tone of everything. Alright, so we made it here. I feel like this either went way quicker or I just went a different path or what. But it's time to get out of the vehicle. Uh, let's see, do we have... We do have our silencer on. Hold up, goodbye. We got company. Alright, let's go take a look with our binoculars. There's apparently some dude there. Uh, we have a drone, too. If we hit Z, we can use our drone. Oh, There we go. You have to forgive me, it's been a while since I've used the drone. I got a target carrying submachine guns. Target over there. Just spotted one with submachine guns. Another one there, another one over there. We're, we're about out of uh, range. Unfortunately, I don't think I see any others. It's going to be about the best I can do. Alright, so, uh, let's crouch. Oh, tutorial recons. Talking about the thing that I just did. Alright, so that is not crouch. That's crouch. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, boys. Let's get on over here and take this guy out. He is facing away Don't from us. The target. Switch to suppressors. Okay, switch to suppressors. I think we already have the suppressors up and running. No one is looking at this guy here, so when we sneak up on him, we should be able to take him out. I kind of wish there was a way to like Good eyes on the target. Take Let's him move. down and stab him type thing. Oh, by the way, folks, since this is kind of more of a war, well, not more of it is a war type game. Tango down. There is a very, uh, the language is going to be a bit more harsh than some of the other titles. I'm just giving you guys a heads up now. I should have probably done it at the beginning, but I'm just letting you guys know. I won't be censoring any of it, but as usual, I'm not going to be adding to it either. So take from that what you will. If you guys think it's too much, then just don't, just don't watch guys. Just don't watch, but it should be fun either way. All right, we're close. I'm going to see if I can't sneak up over here. Can I get behind the... Alright, sorry about that, folks. I'm back. Anyway, we're behind the bales of hay. We are about to go and do some murder. Unfortunately, uh, my wife needed me for a moment, so there was a, a few seconds I had to stop there. Alright, let's go take a peek around now with our newly found uh, position. And hopefully we can see possibly a few more. Oh yeah, we came up this way last time. That's what we did differently. I'm like, I feel like this is all very different than the last time we were here. It was, because... We did things just a tad different. Now there was a dude that's... Yeah, there still is. So there was a dude inside there. Alright, so I think we know what we gotta do here. Um, I'm going to hopefully take this dude out. That's a kill. I may have missed once there. That's okay. We're cool. Alright, so if you guys are playing this on your own, uh, make sure anytime you see this thing where it says tag supplies, you see any kind of flashing thing, you go and you tag those because we'll leave a so the you, need, the supplies later. you need the supplies later on to do a lot of the upgrades and various things. So, just be aware of that. Oh, there's a little piggy there. I'm not going to kill the piggy. The piggy is safe. Alright, I think we're going to switch over to our main weapon now. And I don't know if there's anyone inside of this place. There might be. A bunch of dead bodies. That's pretty unfortunate. There's a radio on the ground here. Oh, there's water. I'm assuming it's clean drinking water. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to head on over and should only be the three guys that remain. One of them we're going to have to go and knock out and take down. One we're going to be able to take out a little bit earlier and then the final one We'll have to take down at the end of all of it, I believe, is how it's going to end up working. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head over here. Oh, we can really go up this thing? 
Well, that's pretty cool. I didn't know I could do this. Careful. Sicario sporting a submachine gun next to the sandbag emplacement. Tango down. All right, he is down. We're still all right. Okay, we're going to lay down here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to get onto our crouched position. And this dude is not paying much attention, so we should be able to take out his friend. I then go after him. That's going to be the plan, the goal, the hope, the dream. Hostile down. Alright, so this dude, you are now mine, friend. Silencio, marche. Alright, we're going to bring you over here, inside the tent. We're going to interrogate you. Here's the deal, asshole. You answer my questions, or I put a bullet in your gut and leave you to die in your own shit. No entiendes? Chill the fuck out, cabron. What do you want? Amaru. Where can I find him? <laughs> you serious? That's what this is about? Your thing? He's at Atoya Farm. Go on. Then you can see what we do to people who fuck with us. People like you. All right, down he goes. We need to get this done in a hurry. Amaru's we are an victorious, and not last long under torture. Shit, we will go. And we will do that. Wow, there's a good chance he's already dead. Maybe, maybe not. Amaru is a major player in the rebel movement. The cartel will keep him alive as long as they can to find out what he knows. We can't afford to take any chances. There's too much riding on this. Let's move. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this first episode. This is roughly where I think we went a little bit further in the first episode last time. I'm not sure exactly how long it's been. I had to chop up this episode quite a okay, bit, so my apologies for that. But, yep, first episode should be in the books now, guys and gals. I will be doing this uh, fairly regular updates. And, gonna wait around for us to track down and, rescue Amaru. and he'll continue to interrupt me. It's totally fine. Anyway, so look for more episodes to come. Uh, I'll probably have a few up before the game actually goes live on, I believe it's Tuesday, March 7th. So you guys will be able to get a little bit of a sneak peek, let you see what the game is all about, and hopefully make up your minds as to whether or not you want to grab it and play it for yourselves. All that being said, if you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer or the publisher, any of that wonderful fun stuff will all be down below in the description of the video. And if you enjoyed the video, definitely hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys next time with more Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by The Freak Show, and I will see you later.